Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and it is time for Simple Story Saturday for January and I've combined it with Baby Got Scraps because I have some scraps in this collection that I would love to use up. So I have some pictures from the zoo from way back in the day um, of my son and my nephew when they were in kindergarten and I'm going to use the Simple Stories Into the Wild collection. Um, and like I said, I've got lots of scraps and part of the baby got scraps is also like, um, the mini paper pads. And so I'm going to use a little bit of this six by eight paper pad as well. I got lots of stickers, lots of embellishments, all of the bells and whistles, and I don't even use nearly as much as I would have loved to, but I would have covered the entire page if I used more. So, but, um, I'm hoping to get as many of the scraps used up as I can. So I've got my papers and scraps, my embellishments, these fun pictures of these kiddos, and we'll see how this goes. So here are the scraps that I have. And like, I know I keep scraps that are way too small, but I find uses a lot. And when I have like, I have these little plastic containers that I keep them in or little envelopes, like little clear pockets. And so if I can keep them safely and comfortably in those, then I do keep like little strips like you see up there at the top of that red. Um, if it is like Echo Park and stuff, I normally don't keep the little bitty um, bits and pieces. I'll throw that stuff out, but I am really bad about keeping a lot of pieces. Um, so with my picture, I matted it, um, on this green and then I use a scrap of that red to add a little extra layer and I do some tearing. I do love the look of tearing of torn paper. Um, and I'm going to use a big portion, almost all of actually that lion or that tiger paper. And so the back of it says roar loud. And so I didn't really want a lot of that orange, but a little bit. So it would pull from the orange on the pictures or I mean that, well, of the images with the lions and the tigers and stuff. And so, um, I put this little strip here and then I'm going to add that pink paper with the lions and tigers on the top of that. And I'm actually going to use a little bit of that red scrap to kind of fill in some little gaps that come from, um, where it doesn't come down all the way. And so instead of leaving a white space right there, you can see at the very bottom, instead of leaving a white space there, I'm going to fill that with some of that red polka dot. And I really love the way it turned out. Um, I do love layering and getting, um, you know, all these scraps used up. That makes me super happy. And when I randomly find ways to use scraps in a, you know, not necessarily a way I've done before, uh, that makes me happy. <laughs> so, um, I get all that down there and then I'm just going to kind of gauge what I want to do here. So obviously I got to cover that gap between the two, um, chunks of paper and I'm going to do that with my picture and that embellishment or that cut apart. But I pulled out my mode lawn and splattered it a little bit because I'm not a fan of white space. <laughs> I don't do a lot of white space. And so I splattered a little that way. If I did have a bunch of white space, at least it would have a little something and I didn't have to worry about covering my pictures because I wasn't sure how I was going to put those down. So now I am lightly uh, tacking these things down here. And as of right now, I have Hello Adventure and Let's Go Exploring that could be titles. And I have two sets of the um, um, the puffy titles for this collection. So I was frustrated with myself because there really isn't a lot anywhere to put another title um, when I'm done. <laughs> so I don't use a whole lot of those puffies, which it's fine. It's fine. I'll use them some other time in some other place. It's good. So I have these little, they uh, really should be two by threes, but they were originally bordered with a white border. So they're like probably like one and three quarters by two and three quarters or something like that. And, um, it's like my son standing in the little gorilla outline and my nephew standing in the gorilla outline. And then there's a super cute picture of my son sitting in front of a gorilla and they were having a conversation. It was so cute. And then he turned around and let me take a picture with him. And it was like the gorilla was posing. It was so cute. Um, and then I also have a picture of my son and my nephew looking at this gigantic turtle, 
um, and then up at the top is the class picture and then my son and my nephew um, looking over at an elephant so uh, it's a little blurry right now you can't see it but I wanted to get all the pictures in there the I've got more detailed pages in my son's school book um, that I did probably back in 2015 when I you know they first went on this trip but um, I just, you know, I want to make sure that I document this in my chronological book. And that's the year I'm working on right now is 2015. So, um, but yeah, I got lots of embellishments and I've already used a bunch of the little wordy um, phrases. I put a little word phrase on all of them. Um, the, up at the top, I put one that says, watch out. So uh, watch out zoo. Here we come. Um, yes. Uh, this was kindergarten. A um, hundred kindergartners in that zoo, bless their hearts. Um, and I write on the journal, I do journal on my little tag after I'm done um, and wrote something about how I went so that my son and nephew didn't end up in the tiger's cage because I could totally see that. Um, I found this little thing that says at the zoo and this is the only zoo pictures I have left to document. So I wanted to go ahead and use it. Um, and I didn't want to just stick it up here plain. So I put this little tag up here and cut a little fishtail out of it. And I really like the way that ended up um, kind of finishing this out. And then I do use a couple of the flat back brads and put three of them kind of speckled around before I'm done done with this layout. Um, I love how this turned out. I was worried it was getting a little bit too crazy. Um, but I really enjoy all the stickers and embellishments that I got to put on here. Um, I do have quite a bit of embellishments left, but you know, you can use zoo embellishments for anything, but the one that specifically said at the zoo, I really wanted to get used up at the zoo. So it'll be um, interesting to see how else I can use these um, animals and zoo stickers and embellishments for other things. So uh, anyway, that's it. I hope that you will go below to the list of people who are hopping along with Baby Got Scraps as well as Simple Stories Saturday. Um, go check them out and see how they are using their Simple Stories collections. I enjoy watching how everybody uses different things and documents different things. Um, always a great way to find inspiration. So I hope you will go check that out. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you would give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I should be back quite a bit in January um, and definitely in the next couple of months because we'll be doing sketches most every day. So let me know if you got any questions. I would love to hear from you in the comments. Have a great day. Hope you get a chance today to do something you love with someone you love and happy scrapping.